so Alice, this is the eleventh year essentially been involved in International Women's Day. Um, why do you guys uh, run this event, and, and what do you achieve from it? Yes, it's the eleventh year. I mean, this is a celebration of the achievements of women in Ireland, and we'll do it globally. Don't forget, we'll do forty countries, one hundred and sixty-five events. Why do we do it? Look, it's very, very important for our business. Fifty percent of the people we hire are women, and we are very, very keen to focus on progressing those women through the workplace. Why? Sustainable. Capable businesses over the long term can only be created if you have balance of equality of gender in the workplace, and indeed across all aspects of diversity. Uh, with regards to today, today's event, uh, how did it go for you, and what, what stood out as some of the, the key moments? Oh, I think there were so many key moments. You had Lauren Boyle, you had the Minister Francis Fitzgerald speaking about her experience, you had the CEO of Vodafone, uh, and then we had a discussion about entrepreneurship in Ireland, startup community. To me, the highlight, I think there were two things. One, the need for us as business leaders to step forward and say, you need a different approach to managing the workforce by gender. Secondly, the focus on resilience and the importance of not taking, not taking a failure as a problem, but actually learning from it and moving on. Minister Fitzgerald, Anne O'Leary, and so many other speakers spoke about that. Uh, obviously, today is International Women's Day, but diversity as a whole, how important is that to uh, an industry that, for example, Accenture's in, so tech, STEM, all these high, high employment industries in Ireland? Well, it's critical. I mean, we need more. If you're going to have a balanced workforce, you therefore need, if you like, a flow of graduates and a flow of people trained in technology skills, and we don't have enough of that in Ireland. So the STEM issue, or as I learned today from Lauren Boyle, 10 years old, STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts and mathematics, we need to develop a much greater focus on that because it takes a long time to bring that cadre of people through. A lot of the decision makers and businesses in Ireland and around the world would be male. What role do, do men have with regards uh, improving the gender gap that, that currently exists? Well, I think it's interesting you say that. I think there is a marked difference. Uh, I just met Breed Horn from the 30% Club when we were talking about the fact that Ireland is beginning to make progress on bringing women through to the board level and to the top executive level. We ourselves are pleased but still uneasy at the fact that only 30% top, that only 30 of our top leadership are women. It's critical that we have a, an environment where men understand the differences and also how to create the environment to sponsor women support women because the issues are different between men and women particularly as you progress through your ear, your career uh, finally um, Accenture our sponsor and inspire uh, this summer what do events like that what significance do they hold in your company and why are you getting involved look we're, we're a reasonably big employer in Ireland that's one thing so we should be involved so that's the de minimis I think much more importantly I mean look at the title inspire we need as the com the country recovers all of us as leaders in industry, male, female, any form of inclusion, diversity, need to step forward and support initiatives like this because what they do is, as today did, is boil down what are the really important things to get right. Supporting women, supporting gender diversity, and from the top to the bottom of the company doing that. And secondly, highlighting the really important issues like resilience, like the willingness to put your best foot forward and speak up, and choosing the times in your career when you really push hard to get to the next level.